There we are. Hola. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, look, there's a bunch of people here. Erica, hi. Hi. Let's... Hi, Joe. Hi, Everett. Hi, Shawan. Hi, Shawan. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Alden. All right. uh, so we already have a question from Alden about SFX and building props. Yep. And Alden, that sounds really interesting and cool. If you could shoot us an email. Yeah, that would be better because I forget everything in the world. So go ahead and shoot us an email. You could send us an email at uh, info at rafianclee.com. And then we'll get to you. Uh, we'll answer that this week at some point. Yeah, it sounds cool. All right. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi. Hi, Siren and the Pirate. Hi. How are you guys doing? We are doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> we just posted a video uh, about uh, some big decisions that we we're making. So some of you might have seen them. Some of you may it have not. It just went live, so you may not have seen it yet. But we've basically been talking about um, a complete overhaul of the way that we currently do the art studio. <laughs> yeah, a and big, we... big overhaul. Yeah. Hi, Zeno. Hi, Cruz. Hi, Sarah. Oh, we've got so many. Hi, Deanne. Hi, Deanne. Hi, Hi Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Todd. <laughs> um, we just started talking about this yeah. like uh, yesterday and today. Yeah. So it's in its very, very first conceptual phases of what we might do. Oh, it's Naomi and Wendy. Hi. Hi. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, we uh, we just started talking about it. But honestly, this has been something that's in, been in the back of our minds for Forever. Yeah. Forever. CJ said, be free. Be free. That's, whoa. Hi, but what did you do? Just, what did my you? My bad. <laughs> fix the chair here. Rafi doesn't oh. know how to work chairs. I don't know how to work chairs. Uh, the siren and the pirate said, just watched your video. Can't wait to hear more. How exciting. Yeah, it's it's exciting. It's super scary. It's exciting. But I mean, it's right up there with... Uh, um, it's one of the reasons we were like, we don't want to do van life videos because there's there's a big following for van life, but that's not what we do. It's all about being artists. And for us, we're kind of comfortable where we're at. So like doing this actually takes us outside of our comfort level as artists. Like, how do we run a business that way? How do we innovate? How do we change things up? And be who we are, the only difference being mobile yeah so it'll be exciting <laughs> tina said am i late no tina you're you right are on just time. in time hi kelly <clears throat> hi guys yep watch the post excellent news yay <laughs> thank you odette uh josh the introvert what's the weekly difference in customers clients before and after holding study online Pretty we've been steady. holding study which is good because when you are self-employed uh Things that typically, uh, like government help and stuff like that, that is easier to get when you have W two. They won't give it. Not, not really that easy. <laughs> no. So we've. Uh, I feel really fortunate to say that we have weathered the storm uh, on our own terms. Yeah. <laughs> and we're still weathering the storm because I have a feeling there's going to be some more weathering to go. Yeah, so. we'll we'll do whatever we have to do. Yeah. We'll do this art by any means necessary naomi and wendy said that was groovy <laughs> <laughs> the video or rafi's chair antics it's i wonder it, probably, it was all pretty all groovy <laughs> um yeah you know like with with things that are going on right now it it speaks to being able to when you're putting together your career as an artist or whatever it is that you're doing having the ability to be flexible and having the ability to change direction because, you know, did we run, have we been running into some uh, roadblocks and some really difficult times with the quarantine? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, the most important thing, and I say this all the time, is making sure that you keep your spirits up despite what things look like because the moment that you go into discouragement and heartache it's it's really difficult to move forward from there yeah problem solving is no good when you're in a negative headspace you yeah. just can't do it you can't come up with solutions christopher hey christopher hi christopher 
You two are awesome. You are awesome as well, Christopher. Alvino Perez, hello. Hello, Joanna. Joanna hi. Shawan said, lol, chairs are hard. <laughs> they, they are, Shawan. They're really hard. Diana said, are you leaving for full time on the road? We don't know yet exactly what the format will be. It might be sometime on, sometime off. It might be full time on the road. As far as full time, what we're thinking is we are going to move our operation into the RV. Yeah. And for that, we'll have to remodel and do some stuff to the RV to make it livable full time. Um, so like that's the plan right now. But that's the reason that we gave ourselves until March so that we could really think about it. Obviously, we have experience from being on the road. So there are certain things that we know uh, that we want to make sure that we have yes. available to us when, Such when as, we do this. Uh, facilities. Yeah. Some, somewhere <laughs> to use the bathroom is always good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's true. Uh, mobile. Wonderful. Thank you, Jacqueline. Yeah. So we don't know how, we don't know how it'll all play out, whether we'll be moving frequently or staying in places for a long time and then whatever, we're just going to kind of like one step at a time. You know, and that's part of being, uh, that's the part of being flexible is like, basically you just, you have a plan, try not to be too rigid with your plan, have some flexibility there. So what we do know is that we are going to do this. What we don't know yet is how the logistics are going to work. And that's the yeah. challenging part because we do run a full art studio. So what do we do with all the additional paintings that I have that aren't going to fit in the RV? And right. how are we going to be able to run our business? And as far as shipping is concerned, so all of those things are going to be fun and challenging things that we're going to have to figure out. Yeah, getting materials and so on and so forth. And then we also don't want to throw away everything that we've built here. We have people here. We have connections here. We have awesomeness happening here. So how can we continue those relationships and make it all work? And we'll be talking about all that stuff in the video. But like like I said in that video, in, in our videos, but like I said in that video, like we don't want to make this about living on the road. It's not going to be a van life channel. For us, that, that we tried that and that's just not our bag. We're not very good at van life. No, we're good at being artists. Yeah. We're just not good at filming van life. And that's life. the thing is I'm excited because I'm not sure that anyone's ever tried to do exactly what it is we're about to try to do. I have no and, idea. And uh, it's going to be really challenging and cool i got just just got done watching the video awesome and it, then it scrolled up uh carla said oh yeah phil said what is up i just got done watching your big change video you both are so amazing oh Thank thanks you, phil. phil the chair antics wendy here uh where will you travel first do you think fun 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 no Have idea no idea carla <laughs> not not yet we will it, it, Tentatively, we will know when it's time to go. Yeah. Chrissy said, watching your videos for the last one and a half years has made me more open to new experiences. Looking forward to see you guys on this new adventure. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's super scary. Like, it is It is scary. And there have been so many excuses to not do this. And even now, in these <clears throat> last few days where we've been talking about it, we've actually gone back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, but the one consistency is that over the last nine years, this has always been something that we wanted to. Con like I said, we, we started with our travels and we just didn't finish. We didn't finish our trip. So It's true. Uh, Robert Vaughn said, hello. Great to see you both. Good Hi, to Robert. See you. D Van D Studios. Hello from Derek Van Dusen at hey, D Van Derek. D. Hi. Uh, I could never do it, but I'm excited for you guys. Well, you could live vicariously through us because we'll be, we'll be capturing all the ups and the downs and all the exciting turnarounds. Yeah. So. And also I want to, I want to say, do we think we can do it? Like, no, we have no idea if we can do this. No. No. We're, we, that, that's part it's really scary that's part of what <laughs> makes me excited about doing this is the fact that if we're able to do it um then we're proving to ourselves that we're able to do it is it going to be challenging is it going to be financially taxing is it going to be all of uncertainty absolutely but i look forward to being able to share that because it's the reason i was able to write the book because with the art career that's all it was was uncertainty and being scared and not knowing what to do next and so like that experience in of itself will, I think will benefit other people if we're talking to them during the time that, that it's going on. Most definitely. I mean, you guys are going to get to watch us go through all of it. Yeah. Like how do you do an art career in that way? Like that's, that's scary. That's the scariest part for me. Cause 
Like, this is our art studio. What happens when it goes mobile? Like, I have we no idea. Know. Everett said, just put your house on wheels and tow it behind the RV. Problem solved. <laughs> right? Another thing we considered about that. was a shrink ray. Yeah. I, we seriously <laughs> talked for an hour. I was like, well, maybe we could develop a shrink ray. Then we would need a big a, ray. Then a big ray. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> shrink it down, then you make it big. Yeah. Yeah. D. Van D. said, fortunately, you have the internet to those relationships to facilitate your adventures and keep your connections i will someday do what you're going to do again yeah that's awesome that's that's the you know what with the internet like wow like there are so many things that we could do now that just were not back when we went on the road even 10 years ago there is so much more technology now that i'm like man i wish they had this back then when we started yeah that's gonna be cool to be able to utilize all that stuff uh, you guys, I say this every time, but if we miss your comment or your question, the ticker tape gets going kind of fast on this thing. Um, please feel free to type your comment or your question again. Yes, please. Uh, cause sometimes when we scroll the ticker tape, it just gets all wonky. You've pushed through every time you've been fearful. You go guys. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Th that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping we're like, yeah, we got this. Lena said, you guys are so brave. I couldn't do it, but look forward to living this vicariously through you too. <laughs> Love you both. <laughs> Kelly, wonderful thing about acrylic on canvas is that you can remove from frame and roll it up. That's so, true. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Uh, D I hitchhiked all across this country of ours but there are so many places here i still want to see so many things i want to paint in yeah person. yeah christopher if you can sell art online then you should be okay sell from wherever you are that's that's the thought that's the plan so far honey i shrunk the art studio starring <laughs> rafi and Klee. yes exactly <laughs> Klee comes home and rafi yells out i'll settle down eventually if so, you could buy a property, lot, or rental property and keep traveling knowing you have a place to come back to. Interest it's, rates are low. We've talked about we've, that. We've talked about that, too. Um, right now, as it stands, we're going to have our base of operation here in Florida since this is where we started our art business. Yeah. And then we're going to basically figure it out as we go. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll we'll probably be returning here. Like I said, at this point, like maybe we'll be doing like a month on, a month off, but we're not really there yet. Yeah, but um, that's part of it is that we want to see the places and, and if see if there's a place that we're like, whoa. Yeah, and one of the things I've wanted to do, because so many of you amazing artists have started your art career from nothing and you started it completely different than trail, yeah, basically. Yeah, how they did it, how they're doing it, and bring that to you guys. Christopher said, our last cross-country RV trip was 2015 and honestly, cellular data access was pretty darn good almost everywhere. Yeah. 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 Back when we started, we had that little thumb drive. Yes. Even. And that was like 10 years ago. I imagine it's got to be really good now. Tina said, maybe just focus more on print on demand and prints while on the road. Yeah. And that was something else we were. That was something else we were thinking about because, you know, we also do music and we also do different things like that. So there will definitely be a lot of stuff. But one of the things that we're considering is maybe having the paintings here like large stuff like that here and because all we need really is somebody to be able to ship them out and store them mm -hmm. so there there we might have friends that would be willing to do that and essentially they would kind of be like our employees but we're still figuring that out we're yeah. still figuring all of that out we have no idea <laughs> we're assembling our team <laughs> Uh, Naomi says, hi from work. Have you seen her latest on Instagram? I haven't been on Instagram, no, as we've been talking about. We'll no, get on there and check so it out. No, we've been so consumed by this that we haven't had a chance to, like, post things or, like, look at things. Kelly said, get a double-decker bus. We thought that about it, so Kelly. That would be so rad. We thought about it. I watched, like, four YouTube videos about redoing a double-decker bus. Yeah. If only, I mean, there's clearance issues mm -hmm. with double deckers. Just follow the warm weather and outside can be your studio. That is true. That is yeah. true. Well, the problem is that we followed the warm weather the first time we went, and then we just stayed down here. We followed it all day to <laughs> keep us. <laughs> and then we couldn't go any further. Have you heard of any art festivals starting back up? As of now, no, I have not. Not yet. Um, you know, one of the things I'm going to add to the resources page on our website is the different places, because I actually get emails from, uh, not from the festivals, from but from festival organizers every year um, that from all over the country. And so far, I don't see anything that is starting up just yet, but I know that a lot of them are getting ready too. 
Robert said, I saw a quote by John Wayne and it always stuck with me. Courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. Yeah. That's excellent. I, I agree. I agree. I totally agree. Abby, I'm excited for you guys not only traveling and finding different inspirations, but there are so many weird places to see. I've yes. been to almost every state and there's still more to see. I know. I know. We uh, we actually had, what was it? A... Uh, uh, off road America. I forget what it was, but it like roadside America. Roadside America, and it had like all the like old nineteen sixties like weird places, weird museums off the side of the road that you could visit. And those are some of the places that we loved visiting when we were on the road. Yeah, most definitely. And we hit like just a small fraction of them. Yep. Barry said, "What about booking events in advance to sell art everywhere? That's another potential thing. That is another do. one. I mean, and that's the thing. It's it's being able to evolve our art business." in order to be able to take this new chapter and move forward. And a lot of that we'll figure out as we're going, but but the, like that's brilliant, being able to do something like that. Yeah. Diana said, you need your retail peddler motif painted on the side of the <laughs> Believe me, this bus is going to look it's, very it's rocky gonna and It's going to be painted. Clean. It's going to mm -hmm. be very painted. Yeah. D Van D, I'm doing that now, starting. It's terrifying, but it's so worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Laura, that would be awesome. The Clover Artist, I've packed up and moved states with nothing multiple times. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. We've done that. We've done it. I think it's just over the last 10 years, because everything is so wrapped up, like our business, we they're never really get comfortable, but there's a certain degree of comfort that you get into. Mm -hmm. And so like that idea or that dream of doing this thing that's uncomfortable becomes more and more difficult as it progresses. Yeah, suddenly you've like almost trapped yourself with this beautiful thing you've created and you yep. have to reinvent yourself. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm old. I'm old. I got to do something. <laughs> Come to British Columbia, Canada. We're warm, beautiful, uh, and we have every ecosystem just in our province. That would be totally. Oh, Thomas. Oh, Thomas. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thomas. Here's to the start. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you very much. And that's the thing, too, is we want to be able to visit all the places, yeah. not just in uh, America, but in Canada and yeah. who knows where else. I mean, everywhere you could take a bus. Yeah, we st there are so many amazing artists that we know uh, just from Patreon that live all over the country. And yeah. we'd, we'd love to be able to see see their, their groove like that. Awesome to be able to do. Hey, you guys almost missed a live swatch. So excited for you. Oh, Thank you. so awesome. You'll be like the Partridge family, except <laughs> as artists together having a ball. Uh, yep. <laughs> And Thomas had said, howdy, love what you guys do. Oh, thank you, Thomas. You're amazing, Thomas. Uh, when you first started art, were you able to get rid of everything since that time when you started? Or are you usually stuck with it? I like to do art, but I don't like to be stuck with it either. Um, you know what? I don't consider it being stuck with it. Most of the pieces that I created in the very beginning, and the very beginning was like 10 years ago, those pieces are gone. We maybe have like two pieces that we kept for ourselves. Um, I've created over a thousand, over a thousand works of art. I really don't know how many. Um, and you know, when I started a 20 by a, or a, an 18 by 24, I sold for like 80 bucks. So like the price has changed. Um, things have evolved. I don't consider it being stuck with it because art ages like wine. It doesn't age like milk. True. <laughs> like you're not stuck with the Thing, it's just but it's waiting just for its person. Yeah, it's not depreciating. It's just waiting for the right person to find it. So I get that when you don't have enough room. Obviously, that's something that we're considering with, with doing the move that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But don't try to look at those pieces as things that are aging and becoming more valuable, not less valuable. Yeah, art doesn't depreciate. It's true. Tammy said, you two are great. Your shows make my day. Aww, thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Tammy. That was a Who reference, not the kids' show. No. <laughs> the Clover Artist. I just went from just surviving to moving into a beautiful home where I have room to grow, so I'm at the opposite part of my journey to That's yours. That's awesome. That's yeah, that awesome. is awesome. And you're doing it. Oh, thank you, CJ. Oh, thank you, CJ. You are amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. Wow, you guys. That's so awesome. Uh, you need to come to Maine. Yeah, we, we hope to go everywhere. We do. We really do. 
Alvino, I'm a plein air painter in Chicago. Do you think we should have an outdoor gallery fest and cruise on, guys? Visit Chi Town. Yeah, absolutely. That's where we're from. That's our originally. hometown. So we'll definitely be visiting <laughs> Chi Town. And yeah, I I do. I do think that there should be an outdoor gallery um, that is seasonal that maybe attracts seasonal customers. And who knows what, I mean, the, this time will be changing the way that art happens and gets shown. And yep. We hope to organize cool things. Yeah, we do, we really do. We, we want to, because we'll have the bus, so we'll be traveling, so hopefully we'll be able to organize cool art events as well. I think that would be fun. Denver and the Mac uh, and the Maroon Bell in summer and fall are 100%. Colorado is a place that yeah. we definitely want to check out. Yeah. I would love to meet the both of you. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun. It would be fun. Um, Abby said, I know you can't take an RV to Hawaii, but if you ever get to go, at least on Maui, the love for their local artists was insane. There was an artist around almost every corner. So much love. It's actually the reason I have a Hawaiian business name. Want to express the love I felt there. Yeah, absolutely. Hawaii is definitely one of the places that we are going to visit. Right, and obviously we can't take an RV to Hawaii, but we definitely want to visit. We know a lot of cool peeps in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. And it's on our list. It is on our list. And that's the thing, like, with... With this, this is part of something that's on our bucket list. Yeah. And I think in, in for me recently in realizing that like nine years has gone by, if if I wait, I'm Who just going to keep waiting. Yeah. Yeah. We got to just do it. Uh, there are also two art districts here. I live near the North one and every first Friday of the month, there's a huge art walk. Yes. Yeah, so there's so much going on yep. all over the place um, in Salem Springs, Arkansas, they have what is called Dogwood Festival in April. I've you heard of that. To, yeah, yeah, we actually, yeah, we, we actually, uh, we actually head over to Salem Springs every once in a while. So yeah, that'll it's be beautiful cool. there. It's beautiful. I'd also, I'd be so into a Rafi and Klee art event if you come to Los Angeles. That would be fun, Lena. Of course, Los Angeles would be a great place also to do some fun stuff. Joe said, and my dream property deal is almost final. I nice know. to see several of us have cool new things going on. It's looking positive, challenging, but so nice to have something new and exciting. Joe, it's exciting. we're so excited for you too. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. Like, that's, I think it's one of the reasons I was saying in the video, like, we won't be traveling forever. But if we don't do this, then we won't experience it and get it out of our system before we do decide to maybe do like a Rafi and Klee compound or something like that. And figure out where our forever home might be. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. Jacqueline said, some of my pieces I absolutely love saving for my children to inherit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing. When you're looking at the art that you have, if you depreciate your own art because it hasn't sold then then you know you've got a problem there but if you realize that that is a valuable beautiful amazing piece that just keeps appreciating value then you know holding on to the art is is really not that big of a deal you're more willing to wait for the right person to come along the clover artist said i was feeling down today but these live streams always cheer me up oh uh, well good we I'm, love them too yeah, yeah. And we, we've we obviously through this whole process and before, like this is an emotional time for so many. Um, I don't even need to say that. Yeah. You guys know what's going on Yeah. Um, with ups and downs. And you guys really make our day. You do. And you're such an awesome family and support network for yeah. us too. Life is too freaking short. It so is, Diane. Diane. It is. It really is. Home place, journal notes. I was going to start my gypsy life this spring, but then things changed. That C word thing, boo, hiss. Yeah. <laughs> when almost all the RV parks, campsites were closed. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's why we're aiming for next year. One, one, we're not only aiming for next year because of that. We're aiming for next year so that we make sure we get ourselves prepped and ready to go because yeah. we want to get ourselves psyched out. We need to uh, minimize some of the stuff that we have yeah we need to start like uh paring down right now michelle yep. michelle hi michelle hey michelle you need a tardis tell me about I it i know right finite size outside infinite size yes inside. um if i could somehow have a tardis yeah i mean that's, that would be a dream come true we would be traveling in our tardis <laughs> most definitely amazing Home place journal notes hang in there, said Joe. Yes. Yes, and we are right there with you because think of it as extra time to prepare for what you're going to do. Yep. 
uh, it's it's not like any of us wanted this, but if we think about it of like, okay, so eventually this too we've will got, be over. Yeah, and we've got time to get ready. Yeah. Is it true that you should sell your paintings by the inch? So like a 16 by 20 should sell for 620 or is that for great artists? That's what I've heard. You know what I've done? I've done a video on pricing. Honestly, the pricing is up to you. Whether you do by the hour, whether you do by square inch, whether you do 40 cents a square inch or you do $1.20 a square inch, really it all comes down up to you. What is your market? What prices are you comfortable with? It is such a personal journey that when you try, when you read information like that, that is all the artist perspective that is putting it out there like that. So you decide what price you are comfortable with when it could, like I said, when I started, I was selling a 16 by 20 for like 20 bucks. The first one I sold was 20 bucks and I was excited about that. Yeah. I would not sell a 16 by 20 for 20 bucks now because that's that's under the price range that I'm comfortable with. And if you're getting ready to say a price and you want to throw up in your mouth a little bit, then maybe you're not quite comfortable with that. <laughs> yes. <price. laughs> I've been there. That happened to me. <laughs> I may need to adjust that. Giggsy Art said, this was the year I wanted to get my art career going. And 2020 said, no. Nope. Yep, 2020 said, let's take a little bit more time and get you, get you, uh, you, you could get it started soon. Yes. Tina, I totally think you guys should make an art retreat when you decide to plant your feet and artists from all around could visit you and create together. That would be a lot of fun. That would be cool. And we want to strengthen the connections we have all over the place and form new ones and yeah. see what develops from that and what great ideas form with our brain trust. I mean, and that's that's the thing. We have an awesome, awesome artist family from like all around the world, which is really cool because back in the day, like you, you had to move somewhere in order to be around other inspiring artists. Right. And, and now it's like we're everywhere. You can connect from anywhere. I would definitely come visit your art retreat. Thanks, <laughs> Steve awesome. Andy. Thank you. Me too, lol. <laughs> Discussing pricing is so difficult. Does it get easier? It does. It, it does. does. It absolutely does. Yeah. I mean, I still struggle sometimes when I'm thinking about pricing and stuff. And really, uh, for me, the, the struggle when it comes to pricing has a lot to do with two things. Ego on the one end and insecurity on the other. Totally. And so you got to like, strike a balance. You got to strike a balance. <laughs> works for you if you're calling yourself work on stopping yeah, it because and you're, if you're coming in too hot maybe pull it back a little yeah yeah <laughs> so i mean and it's all it really is just a personal thing it's up to you to decide don't do, there's so many people out there that are like if you are a real artist you you know and it's like no you the pricing is all up to you you are the one that gets to decide what prices your stuff is yeah and you guys i read approximately one billion articles on pricing when i was trying to figure it out back in the day and none of them quite totally worked for me i had to come up with my own thing yeah but it doesn't hurt to do research and see what others are doing as well jacqueline said i love purging and organizing i volunteer I, yes. you're hired yes <laughs> we we don't know we're gonna do it little by little we'll we'll handle yeah, we'll, business we'll i it. actually love purging too yeah it I, feels good to I, get rid of stuff to me it's like you're getting rid of mind clutter especially if you have stuff that's been sitting there that you haven't like done anything with mm -hmm. it's like you're getting rid of the stuff that's cluttering your mind and finding better ways and more efficient ways of organizing things you will keep i love organization yep. <laughs> you don't want a tardis because if you had one we would all want to come with you <laughs> but that's the thing there would be a room for everyone there would be i would travel to a rafi and Clee oh festival. that's so awesome thomas thomas yeah you would definitely be an honored guest at a rafi and Clee festival yes you would matter of fact you might be somebody we reach out to to help put on a rafi and Clee festival uh, that should say a TARDIS. We knew what you meant. Uh, oh, hells yes, a Rafi and Clee festival. Hi, Ellen. Hey, <laughs> Just Ellen. Just stopped in to say hi. Hi. Uh, I'm using this state of the world to take a pause and work on the quality of my art and where I want to go, yes. which is a great thing. Absolutely, to do. Clover Artist. That's awesome. A gr oh, thank oh, you, Kelly. Kelly. Oh, Kelly, thank you. Thank you so much, Kelly. Uh, a friend of ours said, my art doesn't come out the other end better for this. I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it will. I thought, it will. It most will. Most definitely. <laughs> uh, Diane, I, oh, 
Uh, I have an exhibit up right now in a local co-op gallery. I've been working on the pieces for about a year. Had a virtual art talk instead of a reception up until July 11th, regrouping. Did sell a few. That's awesome, Diane. Congratulations that is... for assessing, adapting, and doing it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Barry said, when it comes time to downsize, you could create Rafi and Klee mystery item boxes that could help alleviate We were item. actually thinking about doing that. It's <laughs> yeah. like, I don't want to throw stuff away because it's really cool, creative stuff. Yeah. So we might actually be doing some like giveaways and some things like that. Some de-stash and some mystery yeah. de-stash. <laughs> something, something from Rafi's studio. Like what It'll is be it? like this weird ceramic mold of my face. I mean, I don't... <laughs> Everyone wants a TARDIS. It's true. Everyone does want a yes. TARDIS. <clears throat> what the fuck I got here by accident? Tater flaps. flaps. Christopher said, "Imagine all the streams from exact locations, right. Right. all the like different stuff we can bring to the channel, and live streaming with weird stuff going on." Or although, cool although background. one of the things that we realized was a reality when you hit the road is that not every location is picturesque and beautiful, like a lot of people like to make it seem. So like, yeah, <laughs> there were some times where I was like, where are the mountains? Where, where's all the beauty at? And the yeah. Everglades were like, not here. Not here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Would you like some vultures? We have vultures. The Everglades was cool, though. Yeah. My art is not too overpriced. Definitely one of a kind. However, I can't sell a thing. Instagram is not helping. None of my social media helps. It's little by little, little yeah. by little. Don't don't allow yourself to get discouraged because, man, it is for for us, for me personally, it was tumbleweeds for, for like, like years, years for <laughs> years. Yeah. And even still, we don't uh, we don't necessarily rely on social media. No, um, I use you know in the video I talk about social media in order to like just share my story yeah. so cruise oh cruise thank you go rv road yay <laughs> thank you Aww. uh oh can, my gosh Rafi and clean memorabilia i know <laughs> i think it'll be fun uh please do when the time is right about the festival yes yeah awesome I started facing a few fears today after finishing your book, drew my first real original on paper and canvas, and started the fantasy novel I've had in my head for a few years. Oh, that's so awesome. Congratulations, Abby. That is so Abby. awesome. Diane said, I'm purging and organizing right now, too. Does having the cube shelves behind me make me a YouTube cliche? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I thought. There is nothing wrong with cube shelves. Yeah. And, there's, you know, don't let don't let YouTube cliches ruin cube shelves because they're awesome. Yeah, they are. <laughs> that did not work out, said Kelly. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It didn't work out. What is the advice for artists seeking gallery representation uh so sarah as far as seeking gallery representation just keep in mind that galleries are run by people they are business owners so a lot of times you know that's where it, it the, everybody is different every single gallery is different the relationship that i have with marty who is uh, the gallery owner of our gallery is mm -hmm. totally different than I had with another gallery that I that I was in. It, it was more business relationships. So sure. like, remember, you are talking to people, so get to know them, so that you know if that's really what you want, and make sure that you're not approaching them desperately. That you are, they're an option. If if it's a good fit for you, then maybe it's a good fit for them. But don't uh, don't. Don't think that you have to get in a gallery in order to become an artist. You definitely don't. And I will add to that. Um, my my relationships with galleries were incremental, like getting to know them. They got to know me. It happened slowly, not terribly slowly, but yeah. I was patient Yeah. in all cases. Kelly! Kelly! Oh, thank you, Kelly. Just finished your audio book. I love it. Aww. Thank you. Tina! Oh, Tina. Gas, Gas money, money to, to Canada. Canada. <laughs> thank you, Tina. Thank you guys you, are Tina. amazing. Aww. <laughs> CJ said, yay, have an auction. An auction. An, au an auction of some of this stuff back here. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be cool because there, there's actually some creations that I don't sell that there's going to be all kinds of weird 
stuff. There's so much weird going stuff. Going on the road. D. Van D. said, I have sold two pieces, given a couple away, and taken three commissions all by word of mouth. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, don't exactly. Over, don't underestimate word of mouth, you guys. Even in <clears throat> our day and age, word of mouth still gets it done yes. for artists. Yes, Seriously, it does. Seriously, it is important. You got to remember that when you're putting your stuff out there, like, everybody's going to be hesitant to buy from you. Um, anything that you create, even if they see it and they love it because they don't know you, they don't know who you are. So that's where consistency comes in. So it took three years of me putting myself out there for people to start to feel comfortable with the idea of buying something from me. But a lot of other people were because they got word of mouth from someone else. And like, really, that's how my career started. More Most so from, from word of mouth. The Clover artist said, you don't have to sell anything to be a real artist. Absolutely. You are absolutely, absolutely. correct. Absolutely. I did recently take part in creating a music video for a song about relationships gone sour and painting a picture in remembrance. I was the painter in the video and my painting is featured in it. Oh, that's so cool. Congrats. That's awesome. That is really cool. Will you share that link with us? Yeah. Um, somewhere. What, where could you share the link with us? Share the link with us somewhere where I'll get it. I, I think you're on Facebook. You could share it with us on there. social media yeah. or email it to us. Uh, do you think places like a swap meet would be good to try and sell your art? That's where Absolutely. I started. That's yeah. where I started. I started at the flea market. That's where my entire business. I had no idea how to get into anything but I wasn't going to wait around for permission. And that's how I got started. And that's how we made the first connections we made to do other things. So yep. remember, it's temporary. It's a stepping stone. It is a stepping stone. It's all a stepping stone. Even if you got into a gallery, that's a stepping stone. Abby said, I've literally heard nothing but your voices all day. It helped to keep the negative thoughts away, although nearly ended up with Pepsi on my canvas <laughs> listening to Clee's embarrassing market moment. <laughs> I will never... Never live that down, <laughs> and nor should I, because that deserves to have a legacy. My embarrassing market yep. moment. Yep. How? Th oh boy. Yep. Yeah. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, uh, it's it's in a video. Yes, it's in a video. We're. Yeah. I don't I don't remember which video, but uh, if you you'll probably come across it. Uh, saw the old pic you posted a few days ago. It was fantastic. You guys look great. However, oh, the old pic. Yep. However, Naomi was scared thinking you'd aged overnight. <laughs> I laughed my butt off because <laughs> she's more tech savvy than me. <laughs> Luckily, we did not age we overnight. We did not. Uh, Jacqueline said, I've sold several paintings in my apartment since, whoa, settle down sorry, there with sorry. the ticker tape. An instant, <clears throat> I've sold several paintings in my apartment building, an instant gallery. I was so surprised. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We did. Neighbors. We, neighbors. <laughs> we did. I mean, that's the thing. Like a lot of times, like people that don't typically buy art, when they start collecting art from you because they bought that little piece from you they trust you to go back to get more art. So Most like definitely. a lot of my big time collectors, people that have bought several pieces from me, never bought art before in their lives. Yeah. Uh, it, it isn't mastered yet, but I will share it with you on Facebook. Okay, when awesome. That's awesome. Charity. Charity, oh, thank you, Charity. Hi guys, just thank got you. here, better late than now. Oh, Charity, we love you whenever you decide to come yes. join us. Uh, Luna, I'm excited for you guys. I have a question. What do you think about putting my art out there if it's all over the place? I don't necessarily have a collection, but I love creating every single piece. That's exactly Luna, what I did. Luna, that's what I that's what I do. I that's mean, if how you, you look figure at, if out. you go on my website and you go through, I have like a bazillion different series because my art is all over the place because I like to create a lot of things. And this is where we butt heads with some artists because a lot of artists will tell you don't put your work out well, there till you have a cohesive body of work. But that's how I figured out what I like to do was by putting my the, stuff. The thing is that it takes longer. So yeah. like when you look at those artist courses that are out there that are like you could sell a hundred thousand dollars worth of art basically what they're doing is they're pushing for you to uh, find your niche and then you're able to advertise to your niche and create a niche there's nothing wrong with that but a lot of times some you know artists will create a certain only a certain type of art because they know that it's going to make money so in that case like you're creating the art just to make money you're not creating the art because you're expressing yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. No, if you want to scale up fast, 
then definitely create a cohesive body of work and stick to it and and go that route. There's nothing wrong with that. It's I'm 10 years in and I'm still figuring out who I am as a jewelry artist. Yeah. Um, and I'm still <clears throat> experimenting with stuff. So you're never done finding your voice, yeah. I don't think. No. Uh, Home Place said, are you going to build out the interior of a bus? Yes. yes. Yeah, we're oh, totally well, we're going we're gonna do it in an RV. We're thinking because RVs have pop outs, so it's gonna give us a little a bit little more room. A little extra wiggle yeah. room. Yeah. Share anything and everything. Absolutely. Says, yeah, Absolutely. Most definitely. And get feedback on said yeah. things and then go from there. It's totally awesome. I love variety as an art lover. I too have the same problem. Yeah. yeah. And and I do. I love variety. I love looking at different types of art I, and i love when people have different things kelly. oh kelly that's what it is she figured oh, it out thank, thank you, you kelly. kelly you're amazing Aww. um i was gonna say i love how non-artist people tell you to pick one thing and just do that well, and every artist knows that artists don't work <clears throat> that way no i mean and that's <laughs> that's because it's it's it is easier when you are just focused on one thing, but then you have to fight that inner that inner voice in you that wants to jump on something else. Right. And in fact, a lot of artists that establish themselves as something niche, whatever it is, whether it's landscapes or pet portraits, then when they want to create their other stuff, they're afraid of putting it out there because everybody is so used to seeing them create one style of art. Yeah, and I also will say, like, listen, there's a lot of things that I think about doing that I don't. Like, I don't have time to do everything. It gets written down. But the things that I really want to try, I try them. Yeah. Make time to do try it. Try them. Try them. I mean, we do music. I do motivational MP3s. How yeah. ridiculous. Where I, like, record myself with music in the background. I'm like, you can do this. Yeah. How dumb is that? I record it's those amazing. for myself. And they're totally cheesy, but I'm like, well, if I enjoy these, then other people enjoy them. And that's that's basically how I see my art. If I enjoy what I'm creating, then I'm sure that there's someone out there that's going to enjoy it. So I'm going to share it out there with them. Adventure-seeking artists. My husband and I have been putting ourselves out there by having impromptu rhythm and paint sessions in a local park. He plays jazz while I work on Oh, the that's so awesome. Totally I love awesome. that. Totally awesome. We would love to catch one of those sessions sometime. Yep. Maybe when we're we our... will. Yes. Put it all out there. Sometimes the ones that sell first are the ones you least think will sell. That's yes, also very true. That is very true, very Diane. True. Very true. Jacqueline, I love being... Oh, no. Whoops. We missed it. The ticker tape. I love being all over the place. Perhaps I'll always be. I'm content. Yeah. What's the most you ever sold a piece of art for now? Uh, $15,000. $18,000. $18,000. And for me, now that this was instant. Yeah, this was installation And mine was 12000 That's not typical. No, this that's is not an typical. I think, I think the most expensive art that I've sold at a show was maybe about $3,000. And mine was 2000 for a single piece of jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. So, and but the, again, our averages are different. But yeah. But it's cool to think <clears throat> about those things. Yeah. Like, whoa, we did that. Yeah. <laughs> that was neat. Will you grow faster with a cohesive image? You will grow faster with a cohesive image, but you do want... But do you want yeah, to sell? Yeah, do you want to sell Sorry, your I, soul? I just totally botched what you <laughs> yeah, wrote there, nice Clover Artist. Job. Jeez. <laughs> my wife says my style is a naturalist. Yeah. A naturist. I mean, that's that's a, a naturist. I that's that's my style. My style is Rafi's style. Yes. It's very egotistical and very whatever, but it makes me feel better because instead of falling into some niche that already exists, I just get to create whatever it is that I want to create. Yeah, it's Rafi art. Yep. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for your sincere input. I really needed to hear that. So much love to you. But have a happy new journey. Oh, Luna, thank you, Luna. We wish you all the awesomeness, yes. too. SS, is it okay if my mom buys most of my art? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, it totally is okay. She's just a, she's just one of your uh, biggest collectors. And kudos to your mom yep. for being supportive of what you're doing. Not everybody could say that about yep. moms. Yep. Uh, Barry said, what do you think about 3D art galleries to display and sell your art, especially during these times? I think I think awesome. that's cool. I think yeah. that is really, really cool. Most definitely. I think it's super neat. We got to see a really cool virtual art exhibit that one of our Patreon family members attended. Yep. And it was super awesome. Yep. 
Abby said, ooh, I forgot to tell you guys, I sold a red, white, and blue splatter painting for 80 bucks this week. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, I got misplaced. Hey, miss seeing you, being safe. Thanks for showing off my batik t-shirts. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we love, love shirts them. so, so yes. much. And uh, I think you're super talented. Yep. Continue the awesomeness. Clover said, I botch my own words all the time, so don't sweat it. <laughs> uh, Jesus loves you both. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> should tell my parents I'm adopted. Should I tell my parents I'm adopted? <laughs> Break the news to them gently. I wanted to tell my parents that I was adopted. I was pretty sure that I yeah. was. Yeah. Um, totally okay. Most of my stuff has been bought by my mom and friends. Absolutely. There is nothing wrong with your support network supporting you as you're getting your um, sea legs underneath you. Your style is actually just how you paint and has nothing to do with medium or subject matter. Absolutely, Tina. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Nay, nay. <laughs> Let me grab oh, the Oh, thank you. Someday I'll have the courage to join you on Discord. <laughs> oh. You're so awesome. You are welcome on Discord. Yes. Thank you so much, nay. Lena, thanks for the validation of changing styles all the time. I cannot be a niche artist unless I can have many varied niches. Yeah, that's why I call them series. This is my this series, and this is my this series. And the cool thing about that is that I have collectors that like one series and absolutely hate every other series, but they follow that one series. Melissa asked, will you be taking your pink flamingo along for the ride? <laughs> oh, heck, yes, yeah. we will be taking yeah. our pink flamingo along. For we actually have two. You can only see one. But yeah, it's and a they're pair. and they're the they're the like collectors. They're the flamingos. rare discontinued collectible discontinued. flamingos. Yes, I told, we're posh. Yes, I, <laughs> uh, some years ago I told a human that I liked flamingos, and it just escalated. Yeah, then okay. we actually had to get rid of flamingos because there was too many of them. Yeah, it's true. Uh, what is Discord? Discord is uh, like a chat room thing that we have on. It's our, part of our Patreon. Our Patreon. So when you become a patron, you're able to join us on Discord. Yes, and it's lots of fun. Yeah. Thank you all. The last part my mom the last art my mom bought was a performance piece where I didn't shave my body hair for three months. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. I love that so much. I'm gonna cheers to that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get more <laughs> so I can cheers to that. Okay, well let me see where the ticker tape is at. You left me. In limbo here. All the way down. Oh, is it all the way yep. down? Then you guys might just get like a Klee style intermission for yep. Rafi getting a beverage if we are indeed at the end of the ticker tape. This is a super interesting segment. <laughs> You're welcome. You have nothing to talk about? We didn't, we, we, uh, it was so, <laughs> everything happened so suddenly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I like the idea, though, of um, not shaving as performance art. I do, too. I do, yeah. too. I don't shave all the time. As performance art? Yes. <laughs> Just as, as who you are as a person, mm -hmm. perhaps. It's of, uh, oh, I use Discord for online gaming, so I already had it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's it cool. is yeah. definitely uh, gaming, like, chat. It is. Thing. It's funny because I had no idea what Discord was, and my son uh, was like, yeah, Dad, I'm on Discord. I was like, what? What is it? So apparently it's uh you could like chat with each other while gaming. I love collecting Pikachu plushies. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our thing. We do. It's true. Uh, sweet. We all know what your Bev is. Yes. Yeah. Salute. Salute. <laughs> I can't get my family to buy my art. My mom is not a fan of abstract art. Listen, no one in my family. Our family did not buy our art. Our family. Listen, even when we were out on the road, like... Nobody, it did, It was, when I say that it was tumbleweeds and crickets, I mean tumbleweeds and crickets. No one in our family or even our friends cared about what we were doing. Not at all. In fact, the only fam family member who's ever bought a piece of my art is my brother. Yes. <laughs> and that was last year. So, yep. yes. And my mom recently, my mom actually is very supportive, but she's not actually 
bought anything, but she's very supportive, which I she appreciate. deserves mad props for yes. her support. Yes, she does. Uh, uh, let's see. Thank you again for the stream. I'm off to set up some space. Oh, yeah. We'll see okay. you shortly, Christopher. Blackbird CD on Twitch. That is Christopher Dull. He does live painting on there. It's and if super you fun. want to go check him out, he will be on there at 8 o'clock, I believe, 8 p.m. Central. 8 p.m. Yes, 8 p.m. our time. Our time, yeah. I love Klee style intermissions <laughs> <laughs> where I'm fumbling around and probably humming something. Yeah. Uh, someone said, I have accumulated way too many flamingos for the same reason. Oh, Lindsay. Right? It's like the moment that somebody knows that you like something. It's dangerous to yeah. tell people that you like something. It's true. <laughs> I want to move away from art commissions, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do in times like now when I'm struggling to find motivation and inspiration. I'm kind of scared to take the risk. Any advice? Um, You know what? If it's something that is super scary, then start transitioning slowly. Because mm -hmm. what ends up happening is that you get so stuck in doing one thing in one rhythm and so divide your time up by a half. So like if you are going to work on commissions, you're going to work on commissions for these many hours and you're going to work on the other stuff for these many hours. Yeah. And just start being more and more particular about which commissions and just kind of like whittle your way down. Yeah. Uh, dreadlock beard, dreadlock Rafi. beard, Rafi. Yeah. 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 Tammy said, please don't stop your YouTube videos when when you're on your new adventure. We really need your happy spirits to keep motivated. Besides Absolutely. The, we we actually plan to do more. Yeah, we should we should be able to do a lot more fun stuff from the road. Ever thought about swapping jobs with each other? Make a video of Klee painting and Rafi making jewelry. That's not fair because Rafi knows how to make jewelry I do. really well. I grew, up, I, I grew up in the jewelry. Yeah, industry. and I don't know how to paint good <laughs> at all. Now, video editing and music writing swap would be a that challenge would be for fun. both of us. That and would be fun. fun. Maybe we would do that. We should do some weird stuff like that. Uh, what kind of art do you make? Do you make abstract more or something else? Does oddball art sell any? I would consider Rafi's art to be sort of oddball. It's oddball, but then I have figurative, then yeah. I have abstract. I mean, I do a little bit of everything, so... And and one art doesn't sell more than the other. They, they just... They have different people that like them so um that that's where that's where it gets difficult because a lot of people would be like well this kind of art sells sure that kind of art sells to one group of people but there are eight billion people in the world so like who knows what they create if you create yeah. something and you like it chances are there is a group out there of people that like it It sounds so cliche but if you're passionate it really makes a difference it does it makes a huge difference if you are really enjoying what if you're creating something simply because you think it's gonna sell i mean it might sell but really how excited are you gonna be about talking about it right or creating the next piece sarah said thank you for being awesome guys oh uh, thank you sarah thank you for being part of the family though i am curious Bandy, what your preferred poison is. I'll try and have it on hand should I ever meet y'all. <laughs> We're still figuring out what our favorite bourbon is, but, but we do like bourbon. the bourbon. It's bourbon. Yeah, yeah. bourbon's our, our jam. Ever thought about swapping jobs? Oh, yep. yep. You just yep. read that. Yep. Christopher said thank you and correct. Kyle. Oh, Kyle. oh thank you, Kyle. Thanks thank for you being so much. you. Well, thank you for being you. <laughs> That's awesome. Can't wait for the vids that'll come out on this adventure. I know. That's going to be exciting. I'm so excited about the stuff that we'll be able to do. Phil Emerson, art cider, outsider art, art brute. Art yeah. brute, Pink yeah. flamingo hood ornaments <laughs> rock. <laughs> yeah, your pink flamingos might just go attached to the outside of the RV. I mean, the whole outside of the RV is going to be artfully done it's gonna be awesome yeah. kyle said need more paint and cool rocks it's true yes that's <laughs> one guys, of the other things imagine the rocks i can find all over the place because we'll be going out rock rounding yeah. places that'll be awesome and i have an old like dinosaur of a lapidary machine that i've been too scared to use ever so yeah. i could even like cabochon some rocks who knows for real, I have all these different styles, and people are like, did you do all these? Because they look all crazy different, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, yup. You know what? And I think that that's one of the reasons that like my signature is so prominent on my pieces, because it really does tie the stuff together. Now, here's the thing. I also have very uh, my own way of like applying stuff. So whether something is an abstract or something else, 
there is always those subtle similarities between them. The raffiness of a yeah. thing. So like that's what you really have to embark on is the the similar the whatever you are, um, the, that keep expanding upon. Keep that. expanding upon that. Uh, D Van D said, "Bourbon it is that." <laughs> Much for you. considering us. Yeah, and salut. Salut. Uh, Monique said, what is the best way to price my art? I would love for you to look at some of my art when you have time. So we actually talked about this like uh, shortly ago. There's no set in stone thing we can tell you. I it's, think we, we just posted a video on we there. We did, yeah. I mean, we could help you out, but there's a lot that depends on your local market and things like that. But mm -hmm. even still, Monique, um, just, just email us. And yeah, we'll see. If I, we can I don't help. know if I'll be able to help you on pricing, but I, I, you could tell me what prices it is, and I could tell you what what my feeling is about or it. Or at least some general stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Feel free to email us. Uh, Tina said, "Not a lot of people buy wildlife art, but I keep painting it anyway because I love it." Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. And the thing is that not a lot of people that you've encountered yet buy a lot of wildlife art, but there are people out there that buy wildlife art. There are people out there that are part of wildlife clubs and, and different things like that that really are um that's what you see when you go into their house absolutely um, yeah that they exclusively uh you know the collect a certain type all the of all the wildlife art that i've sold actually so, has sold to people that run the wildlife sanctuary here so it's, yes it's really getting getting those people that have a passion for that that, uh, and we developed a relationship with the wildlife sanctuary through a series of serendipitous events. Yeah, because I did I did an auction where I auctioned off right. a piece, and the money, the proceeds went to them. Uh, would it would be cool to see Rafi murals along the path of your trip? Your art may become the new scenic drive. That would be or a Rafi highway. That would be, That'd be fun. so cool. Karen said, "We have acreage on the water here in northern Alabama, so come stay with us." Aww, we thanks, just Karen. may take you up on that. Why? Thank, thank you very kindly. Diane said, saw interesting vehicle today with two, with a large plastic dinosaur about two feet long attached to the hood like a large ornament <laughs> with a rubber ducky in its mouth. Awesome. That is so awesome and weird. That is so weird. I like the idea of a dinosaur hood ornament. She said, I can send you bits of the Canadian shield, please. Some of it is nice rose-colored rock that they'd polish and use in highfalutin buildings in the 1930s. Oh, that is so cool, Yes, Joe. please. That, that is would be so amazing. Cool. That sounds awesome. I love you, Joe. I'm in rural Kansas. Wildlife art is what sells, and I don't paint it often. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so funny because, like, it's not that one style of art sells more than another style of art. Like, a lot of artists think that there's, like, this holy grail of the type of art that you sell. It all has to do with who's buying it, and pretty much every style of art has a, an equal amount of, Most of people that buy it. You just have to find them, but the trick is you don't really find them. They it's find that they find you. you. Yeah. yeah, so you have to be patient. You got to play the long game. Joe said, uh, town near me is where rock hounds from all over America come. Joe, we need to talk about this. Yes. And find out more. We may, we may be going to a town near you. You may see faces. Yes. My son does flint napping and makes arrowheads and handmade knives he's always rock hunting oh kelly, that's so cool that's kelly so cool. that is so cool uh such a cool craft too to make bladesmithing and rocks yep clee <laughs> what is your favorite stone to use in your jewelry can i give you my top five I like the how whole. About, how about top three? I like the whole quartz family. I like the tourmaline group, and I like the feldspar group, which is labradorite, moonstone, and newmite. Which, which is, one do you like the most out of the three? I like quartz because of its properties, and I like labradorite because of how it looks, and I like tourmaline because it's in so many varied colors. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I like a rare stone called Numite, which is technically part of the Feldspar group. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, don't get her started, guys. Please. <laughs> so my favorite three families, oh my goodness. Tourmaline, Here Feldspar, go. Quartz. This live stream has just become about rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't get me started. Charity question. Okay. 
You guys inspired me. Yesterday I bought a minivan to turn into a camper. Yes! So I can take it, art supplies and dog, after the cataract surgeries for when hubby has to work and I can't take our fifth wheel. Oh, Charity, Charity I love amazing. that. That's so awesome. Dude, way to, like, go for yeah. it. Yeah. That's so cool. Maybe we can caravan together. I know. Now to... now I feel bad. Now I'm like, we're like him and I, we're going to do it in Hold March. On. And Charity just. <laughs> and Charity's like, we're she's just, just, just I'm doing, doing this. Yeah. Uh, what And what is your favorite metal? Okay. I work in silver mostly and I love silver, but gold. Gold is so pliable. Gold is so easy and beautiful so to work with. Beautiful it could with. ruin you for other metals if yeah. you're not careful. Unfortunately, it's hellaciously expensive. Yep. So silver and gold. Them's my silver favorite. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> Late to the party, but wanted to say I'm so excited for you to and your upcoming adventure. Oh, thank, thank you, Christine. Christine. And you'll be right along with us. Yes, you will. <laughs> Uh, hi, Rafi and Kalina. I'm a new subscriber and still new to art as well. Is there anything that's considered a normal creative process? No, no. 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 And and there's <laughs> going to be people out there that say there's a normal creative process, but there's not. Everybody has their own normal because everybody creates in a completely different way. You can learn someone else's technique, but eventually you're just going to tweak that and make it your own anyway. Yes. So... My alien art life said, ooh, Labrador, right? I did not spell that correctly. Actually, you did spell it correctly. You did. High five. <laughs> I think there needs to be a few videos of Klee talking about rocks. I, I know, to... I know, you I know. You guys really want me to talk about rocks? Are you sure? Because I'll do it. I'll talk about rocks. She'll talk about rocks. I will for a long time. And so, so look at rocks, rocks, <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Leave video on rocks would be awesome. Oh man! All right, so we're gonna do the the video on rocks. Okay. All right. <laughs> rocks coming your way. <laughs> you're if welcome, you're still, and I'm sorry, Miss Kitty. If you're still live, hugs and hi, hi, Miss Kitty. Hi, yes, Miss Kitty. we are still live. Yes, we are. Oh, I guess we've crossed the eight o'clock threshold. Oh, we have. And okay. um, we should sign off pretty soon. Uh, because also, oh, uh, but, uh, you guys keep saying awesome uh, good, stuff. Good, good. I just bought an Asher cut topaz. <gasps> Ooh. And I have some rose cut tourmalines coming in the mail and I just drooled a little yep. actually yep. because rose cut is one of my favorite cuts and yep. rose cut tourmaline is so beautiful and congratulations on having those things look at here. everybody like rocks 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 <laughs> all right so we'll yeah okay video on the rocks or maybe even a live stream where we just let clee sit there and just and talk. talk about rocks yeah. and you guys can peace out and peace in yep. charity said yes caravan next summer yeah caravan let's next talk summer. about that charity that would be super cool my last of the day where is your favorite place to get supplies at so I, my favorite place to get a lot of my medals is Rio Grande based in New Mexico. Yep. And you like Blick a whole lot. I like Blick because they're convenient and I could buy in bulk, which is what I do. But also um, a lot of times I'll go to the flea market and see what kind of deals they have. Um, I also buy from Jerry's Art Rama. I'm pretty lazy about going to places, so I like having things delivered here. Indeed. Um, and they're, Especially right now. Yeah, so th that's that's where I go. If I had those locations here, unfortunately in my town there isn't really places other than like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Yeah, and, I and don't, mur, 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 I don't like for buying a lot supplies of stuff. Uh, from Hobby Lobby or Michael's because they're just way more expensive than they should be joe said shh with that time to go crap <laughs> <laughs> is labradorite from labrador labradorite was first discovered in labrador and hence it was named after um, but now they've discovered that it's actually quite plentiful in large deposits in many places all over the world <laughs> But it's named after where it was originally discovered. Guys, save your rock questions for the <laughs> rock live stream. Can you imagine that? We'll be like, we're going to rock. And like people will sign on because they think like it's going to be music and it's just you talking about rocks. <laughs> and then 450 million years ago, <laughs> during this period of Earth's geological becoming... These kinds of rocks formed. I don't so really. I said, I just got my glass palette from Blick yesterday and squealed like. Okay, Ooh. so here's the reason I love Blick. Okay, 
So I ordered, I think it was like 15 of the large 20, uh, 30 by 30 canvases. I got them on bulk. No, I, I got 20 of them because I was able to get the bulk price for them. One of the boxes, uh, somebody, it looked like the person delivering it kicked their foot through like four canvases. Rude. I sent like a picture. I called them and what they did was they replaced that one box and I was able to keep the other they were like just throw it away which i did not i repaired the canvases and then i had so like if you have an issue with your order they are really good about taking care of you yeah so i that's what i like i that's like that's a huge deal for that me is a too. huge deal yeah. for me because art supplies are expensive to begin with and if you buy something in the then you're just stuck with something that's damaged um, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of no, that. No, me gusta. Yeah, customer service is a huge reason that we're loyal to who we are. Yeah. Uh, D. Vandy, I have a small art shop here and a Hobby Lobby and buy, buy from both. Yep. And some, Diane had said, no more flamingos in the mail. Clee's going to get a mailbox stuffed with rocks. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Rocks, 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 art, rocks. Well, <laughs> watching yep. Clee's video about rocks while drinking Jim Beam on the rocks. That yep. sounds like a good thing. It does. It does. I wonder if I can find it when I go to my house in Newfoundland. It's quite possible that you might could. That would and be... if you do, that's pretty exciting. Yep. Yes, it is. Uh, rock, rock. All right. So let's <laughs> let's say good night. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, man, it was so freaking awesome hanging out with you guys. This was so much fun. You guys are the best, and you brighten our time so much. You brighten our day and our all the things. We love you, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. We love you. Yeah, we do. Hey, and look, it says it. Yeah, we adore you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my thing, so I could do like a... I'm pointing to the wrong side. So I could do a um, subscribe here thing. Oh, sure. I don't know. This is new. I've never seen this yeah, before. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's cute. <laughs> Good job. What do you think of the U.S. art supply? Um, You know what? I have not used U.S. art supply. I've heard good things about them, but I do not know what their customer service is like. I am pretty loyal to Blick because of the customer service that they've given me whenever something has gotten screwy in the mail. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> good night. Uh. Yeah. Oh, man. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys. You guys are so freaking awesome. And I, I, man, you have no idea how much I adore you and how much this time to be able to spend with you means to me because it's so much, so much fun. So yes, awesome. Yes, it is. You guys are so great. And thank you guys for the support on, uh, you know, yeah, our dude, next, because next choice, the, next decision. Yeah, it really, like, you guys are going to get help get us there when we're like, we don't know. And don't worry, we will not be going anywhere. If anything, we will be taking you with us on this journey of being an artist out on the road. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to be like, we're in Bufu and we, we miss you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where, what are you doing? What, yeah? are you, what are you doing right now? <laughs> okay, let's right. sign off. Right. I adore you guys. Have an awesome, awesome week. And uh, yeah, that's it. Adios. Ata for now. Now I gotta figure out how to. Why do I always forget? I don't know. <laughs> do it. End stream, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>